right, you guys. <laughs> We're back for another week. And um, hey, uh, all the technical difficulties, I think, are figured out. Uh, I've got the laptop is back up. It was the editing software. I have several laptops, but only one would push that, that uh, editing software. And then I think I've got things straightened out with my ISP uh, as far as bandwidth requirements. Um, so I think we're good to go. I think we're going to go back to weekly videos. So, so this is our normal wrapping the pole. But if you notice the moon is full, I hope you're getting to this video while the moon is still fairly full. It might be waning by the time you get this video, slightly waning, but um, I think it's full Friday. So anyway, so this is, so one of the qualities of the moon is flat, remember? So let's do uh, um, Zhang Jiang, <laughs> Grandmaster, Huang Jing Jiang's loosening exercise number one. Now, so this is very flat. So we'll do it in slow motion first. Okay, so see how, see everything's very flat. It's not circular. It's not, so we were, we were going circular like this. So now here's the problem. Uh, Zhang Jing, Zhang Jing Huang, Huang Jing Jiang is, he was an old man when he developed this and he's very thin. So you may have things getting in the way of the free movement of your arms. Right? And I'm pretty thin, but I, I've got stuff that I hit my arms against if I try to go very flat, but just deal with it. And, um, okay, so, and I'm not turning from side to side. I may have accidentally turned a little bit from side to side, but I'm going to remain facing you. So we can go back to slow motion, right? Everything in Tai Chi is always done slowly, so why not this? So see what's going on here, and then and then let gravity, or not gravity, momentum, bring your arms up as high as they can go. Don't don't rush this. Even so, don't mistake loosening with having to be fast. Loose is just you're letting gravity do its job, and letting momentum do its job. Right, so I'm gonna, so let's, let's try this again, so. Oh, okay, yeah, now that we've gone over it, it's a little bit easier, or it's, it's not easier, it's freer. It's a freer movement. So there's just no end to our relaxation and looseness that will that will always will never put a period on that sentence and it may just be remember it could always just be the day you had at work if you're coming to this after work in the evening you had a bad day maybe you're just real tight and your arms are just ugh. but if you're doing this first thing in the morning, that would be really nice. And there's not loud noises. Okay, good, let's do some shoulder rolls. You guys know there's tons of noise outside the dojo, always distracting us, but inside the dojo, it's very peaceful. And I've been seeing uh, more people's, getting more feedback from more people. They send me photos of, of where they practice and um, Photos of their pets looking on at them with bewildered expressions because pets really don't know what to make of Tai Chi. 
they like it, but they're a little puzzled by it. Let's go around the other way. And then, and then uh, free the shoulders up so they're moving independently. Reverse that. Good. Now the, uh, and just for fun, we haven't done this in a while. One shoulder forward, one shoulder backward. And then reverse that. Good. And then loosen just by inhaling up and then drop the shoulders down. Okay, good. Let's move up to our neck, look up and down. side to side. Face me and tip the head from one side to the other. Massage the neck and shoulders. So I try to keep these file sizes as small as possible. Otherwise, we really might do this for several minutes. And then also we would start and end each class with, with meditation. Um, let me just beg you guys, just meditate a little bit before you start to watch the video because I don't want to have to meditate on, on camera with you guys. Um, it's just gonna make for an extra long video. Um, and, but if you can, if, if, if your schedule allows it, just a few minutes of meditation before you start and it actually makes it easier to learn new things if you're already pre-relaxed before we start, okay? And then um, I'm still saying, uh, I think I warned you guys, um, <clears throat> we have to find someone that knows pressure points that will tell us exactly what to do when we do this uh, or show us. And um, so, but he's out of town. So we'll see, so let's do, um, Let's do some big opening uh, warm-up Qigong from the Shaolin set. It's the Shaolin 18. Uh, and this is not to be confused with the 18 Shibashi. So the Shaolin 18 has been around for centuries, right? And it's very, it's dynamic. It's more dynamic than what we would normally see. So I have told people many times that, like my yogis, I say, well, we do all this arching of the back in yoga, but we don't do it in Tai Chi. Well, in the, in the uh, Shaolin Qigong, they do, and you'll see. And it's very, very dynamic, right? Um, so there is an argument that says that, that Qigong and Tai Chi became more formal uh, over the centuries. Um, so, for instance, in our Tai Chi form, you know, we'll never reach up or do something like this, but perhaps in ancient history it did. So, but anyway, so let's do this. So 
just do as much as you can, especially since this is the very first thing we do. This is called carrying the moon, and we just uh, lean over. Remember, your knees are soft. Bend them if you need to. We're not reaching for the ground. We're just hanging. And then come up. So we're, so we're carrying the moon. So carry the moon. And this is what I was referring to. In most Qigong, we would stop here. No, but in the Shaolin set, they go up as high and as far back as you can. But it's the first time, so don't worry about it. And then come down. Oh, I'm sorry. When we come down, uh, let's come out to the sides with the palms up. Now you'll notice when the, if you keep your palms up, it's opening your chest. So continue to keep your palms up and then they start to come forward. This feels really good. So only at this point do you roll your hands inward and then we'll begin again, okay? So um, remember what I've mentioned that um, uh, our resting posture is not to be used all day long. It's just to be used when we're doing Tai Chi. So this is, and I'll show you again. So come back as far as you're able, and then that was carrying the moon, and then the hands come down. So watch this. So, so this might be something more similar to how you'd like to carry yourself for the rest of the day after we do our, not like this, but just roll the hands in, keep the shoulders where right where they are. So feel how open this is here. Okay, that's great. So, but there's no tension. It's open without tension. So it's not the shoulders thrust back, right? It's, it's just nice and open. So you'll see next time again. So. So we'll do this a couple more times. So I guess what I'm saying is that Wuji stance is good for meditating and it's good to prepare us to stand. We can stand in Wuji for as long as we need to before we start our form, but that's not how you would stand waiting in line at the grocery store, six feet behind the person in front of you. So here we go again. So now, see how open this is? And keep the opening, even though you just roll, all you change is, is rolling your palms inward. So that feels great. So if I could go around all day long like this, I would. One more time. already begin to carry the moon. If you're working on your breath control, it's too late now, but you'd inhale up, exhale down. You don't even have to uh, ask me about that. And we'll come to here. So this is different than Wuji stance, right? Feels really good. I'm gonna take here for a few breaths. You stay here, I'm gonna check my notes. Don't move a muscle. Okay, from the same source, this is also lunar, but it's bigger. It's bigger than just the moon. It's called Big Turning of the Cosmos. We've done this one before. I may have, I may have understated it. Um, you can do it small or big. We're going to uh, join our hands together like this, but 
not with tension, just loosely knit your fingers together, right? And then um, we're going to take the widest and deepest horse stance that you can manage for a few minutes, right? So remember, so, so you remember you're sort of sitting down, so not leaning forward, not leaning back, just sort of sitting down. Your weight's here. Okay. Okay, so we'll take our mind off of our horse, of this horse stance when we begin. Okay. So, so go, let's just do a small circle the first time, okay? Big turning of the cosmos, look at your hands, but it's your sternum or your dantian which is tracking your hands. And then you actually look down because this is why this, this uh, Shaolin Qigong is so unconventional. Like we normally don't look down like this, right? And we certainly don't look up so much like this either. So we go in one direction and then the other. So boy, I'm, I'm not going to do big circles today because my knee is messed up, my back is messed up. It's just, um, I'm a wreck. <laughs> so in the previous weeks I had technical difficulties. This Now I have physical, physical difficulties, but I can still do Tai Chi. I can always do Tai Chi, right? As long as, I mean, that's what I'm here for. Um, so let me use this to illustrate a point. When we, okay, I'm just gonna break for a second. Um, when we come to this side, and this doesn't matter if this, is, if this is turning in our form or just turning here. Don't let this knee collapse in, please, please, please. And as a matter of fact, just to make sure it doesn't collapse in, I want you to gently push outward here as you turn. And you'll like this feeling. This is opening up the hips, right? So, so as I turn this way, push out here slightly to counteract, to, to actually counteract the tendency to collapse inward. We don't want the quad to fold. We don't want uh, the knee to collapse in. Okay, and in this case, we're not pivoting anything, but even if we were pivoting, um, it's still, we don't want to go crunch. We want to keep this out. Okay, keep this open, open, open. Okay, so shake everything out. Try this again. If anybody's new here, orange is going to be my right hand. And then I, we're not doing anything that is specific to left and right, I don't believe today, but it's just good to know. And then um, as soon as it cools down a little bit, I'll, I'll go to a lighter colored shirt too so you can see my hands in front of, my hands don't disappear in front of, uh, yeah, that one's bad. That's bad right there. That's gone now. Okay, uh, let's try this again. And keep, so remember, keep this nice and open like the roof of a barn, right? You don't want the barn to collapse inward. So, so so mentally push this out as you as you turn. But we're not doing a lot of twisting here. Not a super lot of twisting. I mean, or certainly not pivoting. Yeah, you'll see. Okay, so here we go. Big turning of the cosmos. All right. So again, I may not look really great on this because it's like I'm a, a wreck. <laughs> but you guys get the idea. And if this is not the most comfortable movement we've ever done, just be aware of what is sore, what doesn't want to move. Maybe circling around one direction is easier than the other. Okay, one more time in each direction. Here we go. I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> Again, you want your sternum, dantian, and eyes tracking with your hands, right? I got a little bit ahead of myself, but... Okay, great. 
Great, that's a little bit better. So again, that's whole body movement in a way that we really have not experienced it. I'm gonna go around one more time, okay? Because I finally feel the whole body connection, which is the whole point of these movements, right? And if you can feel that whole body connection, okay, great, then basically you're doing, anything you do becomes Qigong or Tai Chi, right? So um, let's see, how about, so that was hard, right? So we'll do something a little easier. This is from the Lotus Qigong set. And maybe we'll start looking at other lotus uh, movements that are dedicated to the lotus, because the lotus is really significant in throughout Asia. Um, but just for today, we will do, uh, since the moon is full, we'll do rabbit um, digs in the soft earth, um, because the rabbit in Asia, throughout Asia, when they look at the full moon, they see a big rabbit, and we see Ralph Cramden, right? So, um, but see if you can look up and see that rabbit. It's kind of crooked. Um, see if you can see it, though. Uh, I'll make a little sketch. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll make a little sketch and see if you can see it in the sketch, okay? So, um, so before we start, I'm going to be crossing my hands, and it doesn't matter which way you cross them, but we want to cross them one way one time, and then the other way the next time. And um, so before you raise your hands, just pick which hand you want to be on top, and then the other hand will come up underneath it. You'll see what I'm talking about in just two seconds here. So so the hands are going to come up here and then one I, I picked the right hand to be on top so all I did the right hand did nothing. It was the left hand that just waited for a moment so that it could come underneath and then we just sort of wave the hands. Okay some people don't do this multiple times, but this just feels so good that I don't care how many times you do this. This feels really good. Okay, so watch carefully what happens now. I am going to um, bring my fingers around towards me, and let my elbows stay forward, and then you just come out to here. And we'll do this again, so don't worry if you didn't get that. And then my palms stay forward. And then just like before, they rotate around. And then let's see, oh, my other hand's gonna be on top this time, okay? No big deal if you forgot, it really doesn't matter. If you forgot this time, you'll remember next time. So this is my left hand, see if I remember. Okay, oh, this feels so good. Oh, this is really nice. You could do this all day. Rabbit digs in the soft earth. This is also known as snow rabbit emerges from his burrow and sniffs the air for signs of spring. But here's why I don't like that one. Okay, so get ready for the hands to come around, fingers towards me, up and around. Okay, in Snow Rabbit, we turn the palms up. Snow Rabbit emerges from his burrow sniffs the air for signs of spring. I don't like that. I like the version with our hands forward, if you don't mind. So 
let's do it again. So I just that's just uh, just for me to show you. And look, I remembered my right hand's on top. So let's just stick with um, rabbit digs in the soft earth. Okay, here we go. So this is the version I like. This is the one I like, you guys. Up to here. Yes. I like palms forward. Because it gives you this opening here, right? So watch what we can do. Now that I think you've got the hang of it, you can just do uh, one at a time. Um, you're putting the other hand on top each time. I don't know if I did or not. So we're doing it a little bit different. Or we can go back. So what we're going to do is take a little break and then we'll come back and do our form and maybe we'll practice. So two things. You can practice your form and then see if you have it correct when we do it all together. And also you can uh, go find your strap and we'll do those things and then take yourself a little water break. So I'll give you a couple seconds here to meditate. All right, we're back and um, I'm always trying to do the form in a different vantage point. The only one left is up high. So since the moon is high in the sky, I hope you can see me. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll try this. I, I have no idea if you can see me or not. Why don't we do our form? Yeah. Forget about the strap for right now. Uh, this is the normal vantage point, the normal view. It's just a little higher. So I'm going to come, I'm going to go, I'm going to face east. I mean, you can see me. And, in, and if, I know this is goofy, but if you notice one thing that you didn't notice before, then it's worth it, okay? Let me put on the gloves. Number right is orange. Left is uh, yellow. And if you're new, this is the Young 88 cents. I'll form as the first eight movements of the A side. So relax completely. So this is our Wuji stance. Remember I was saying don't stand around in Wuji stance all day. It's a little too closed. But closed is also nurturing. You know, so if you're having a bad day, this is good. But I would roll this outward and then come to here for a normal standing. All right, let's go back to Wuji. And to here. This is white snake, darts out its tongue. This is reach up, touch the seven stars of the Big Dipper. This is carry hammer. This is white crane. This is white ape. 
these two branches. You don't have to put your hand behind your head the way I do. It's just a uh, technique I learned. I'll show it to you sometime. I need two people to show it to you. <clears throat> Step over. When that elbow strikes the heart, I think we reviewed this last time or in the recent past. Swing the gun. Strike the tiger. Oh, I forgot to give you an intention. So we'll go for that. Almost done. So that's your form. Well, this is good. We'll compare and contrast. So that's the A side with, with no intention or your normal intention to just do good Tai Chi. So since the moon is high in the sky, let's do the intention to be cool and light like the moon. And we'll do the B side, and I'll do the B side through until I leave this little area here. I hope you can see me, you guys. And in my last yoga video, my whole head was cut off for, for uh, this whole sequence. But I don't care, you don't need to see my head. My hands and my feet, that's probably what you want to see. Okay, so nice, relax. Okay, this is the B side. Shifting back. Shifting back. Here, dragon pose. Here we go. Strike a tiger. and push. You also don't need to step one foot behind the other. You can step them up next to each other and then followed by a shoulder strike. You can keep this up or you can have that arm down. And then um, draw the bucket from the well. If you're new, obviously this is not an instructional video. No way. I'm assuming a, a high level of knowledge today. Sometimes I talk you through it, other times not. Okay, so we're back on the A side. That was white snake darts out its tongue. This is dragon stars. Okay, carry hammer. I train. It swings through branches. So if you don't put your hand behind your head, we can just come to here. Elbow strikes the heart. Swing the gong. Strike the tiger. Seems like I'm almost in exactly the same spot as I was before. And the loot. I don't want to get too close to you guys here. I'm afraid I'm getting too close. So I'm doing it a little more compact here. Check horse's mouth. Back to dragon pose. Why don't we just stop here? Okay, good. Excellent. A little sip of water. So then, um, let's review what we did with our rope. And you don't need your strap. You can have empty hands. This is what I want to stress. This can be done empty hands, like Qigong. This is a form of Qigong. There are several systems of this. This can be done empty hands, right? Uh, or with a, with a rope, with a strap, or with a walking stick. And the only requirement is the stick should be as wide as your wingspan here. Um, but not necessarily, right? Because remember, so this is what I want to show you. I want to demonstrate. So in some of the traditions, in the, like the Vietnamese tradition, they keep the arms straight and um, the strap or staff far from the body. And they might go like this. Now be careful, you guys. Careful you don't. 
perhaps something. Okay. <clears throat> so, and then when they go around, they don't turn. Come around to here. And you can go back the other way. My palms are starting out facing down. There's an alternate where the palms are facing up. It just feels a little different, but I'm not going to demonstrate that right now. So that's arms straight and your staff or your strap away from your body. Um, then we, and that's not turning, but then we said, well, why don't we, I prefer to turn, twist and turn. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn as far to this direction as I can. And then turn way over here. Okay. I'll go back the other way just for the sake of symmetry. So then we were saying, what else is wrong with this? In, in the, uh, what's it called? Um, no. In the, oh, Jian Gan tradition, they don't keep their arms straight, which is really cool. I prefer this, right? There's no reason. So not having your arms bent. Okay, so, so that's why I say actually you don't need a really long walking stick. Now you could do this with a cane if your arms are bent, right? Okay, so more twisting, more turning, bent arms. <clears throat> but there's other qualities we can add to this, and I couldn't remember if we did this last week or the week before. But we can add a sticky quality, because why does this have to be so far from our body? Well, the answer is it doesn't. It doesn't at all. So if your shoulders are still with me here, let's try this. Okay, so touch, touch your body. Twisting, turning. You have to turn your head. You got to get your head out of the way. Oh, I like this a lot better. So adhering, <laughs> if we don't have a second person, uh, adhering is usually a, one of our partner exercises, but adhering can be with inanimate objects or, or, right? So like when we do like press, this is a form of adhering to ourself, right? So, and, um, and there are times when, and then we've done Bagua uh, in Circle the Tree, and that's adhering our whole body to this tree. And I, the camera can't see over there, otherwise, but maybe next week I'll show you, we'll review that. I don't know what you would use in your house for that. Well, forget it, we won't review that then. Okay, so, so this is the best so far because we're adhering, the arms are bent, we're twisting, we're turning. Um, one only other quality I can think of, aside from good qigong, just listening to your body, is, is there's times when one hand can pull the other. So, for instance, in yoga, we were doing some archery flavored movements. So this is one bent arm, one straight arm. We could come back over to here. We could switch and come over to here. So that's one complete circuit. Let's do it if we did it in one way. We did it the other way. Remember our good archery, this elbow's up, not down. Okay, and then switch. All right, so that's neat. So that, but if you noticed, or if you could feel, feel like one hand's pulling the other. That's a really neat quality too. So that's, that's yet another interesting quality where there's some pulling through the strap. So let's see, could we get some pulling? The other thing we did? Yeah, sure. Oh, heck yeah. See, that's great. So let's put it all together. Adhering, twisting, turning, pulling, pulling like silk reeling, remember? When we pull, we don't pull too hard or we'll break the silk. So now we sort of put the whole thing together. And this is not the way a lot of people do this. 
And I think this is superior. All right, great. So that's a little strap review. So you don't forget, I hope I didn't blow out your shoulders. I feel terrible if you overdid it, but look, and remember, so that's just for fun. Everybody now, no strap. Okay, so, and see if we can still feel that pulling and pushing, right? And the adherence, feel this an imaginary, just keep your hands closer to your body, feel that imaginary. Oh yeah, see, it still works. Yeah, for sure. Go around the other way, just for the sake of symmetry. Yeah, great. All right, yeah, we can do that. So you don't need the strap or staff or anything, but it just helps every now and then to, to try it with it. So we did our form. The only thing left would be something to give you to do for stepping if you're not getting out that much and you're not practicing your form because the qigong is not going to give your legs enough and, and it won't help with your balance quite as much so let's do moon embracing palms you guys and uh, if you have a difficult time imagining your circle you can mark a center point for it and you can maybe even get a little swap me and get a circular carpet for your living room. <laughs> Which would be really cool. If you were really into circle walking, go get one of those handmade woven circular the shakers made them, I think. So this is the moon embracing palms. Remember, a lot of twisting here. But remember, the twisting helps you to not walk straight away from our circle. The twisting draws you in. Switch sides. Whoa. When you switch directions, you can really feel how twisted up you were the other way. So remember we were going through the various balances from our form. Well, I bet I'm not even in the frame anymore. Let me come up here. So remember, if I don't give you a specific balance to do, sorry about that if I lost you there for a second. Um, if I don't give you a specific balance to do, your only assignment for balance is to step as slowly as you possibly can. I'm not saying it's easy. And this is harder than any balance we do in yoga is to just simply step very slowly. And remember we haven't been going into a whole lot of details about our stepping technique because I firmly believe if you can step slowly, you're doing it right. You're doing something very right and doing very little wrong. Otherwise, it wouldn't work, okay? So I'm going to head back just so I can face you for our final Qigong. I'm going to come around face you again and hope my head's not cut off like in an entire section of my yoga video. <laughs> All right, so also from our Lotus set, and we'll do more Lotus stuff next week, okay? But from our Lotus set, um, uh, we'll do a movement that's very, very similar to our, our favorite closing Qigong, right? So, so remember our um, lifting water, we come up to here, or opening Tai Chi, they also call this, remember? But the elbows sink down and then the hands continue to float and they're drawn back towards us and then finally they can sink. Well, the movement in 
the lotus set is very, very similar, but if you were to look at it closely, the hands are not coming back as much. So they're just wave, more waving up and down, and they refer to this one as, um, or some people refer to this one as moon bids farewell to the setting sun. And if you've ever seen that, it's really beautiful. Uh, when the moon is waxing, it comes up before sunset. I know you've observed this. And the moon is already high in the sky as the sun is setting. So this is moon bids farewell to the setting sun. But it has a lot in common with the other movements we've done. So I don't like to explain our closing proverbs too much because I'm not a philosopher, certainly not a Chinese philosopher, and I like for you to interpret them freely. That's what they're meant for. But some of them are just so interesting that I can't resist. And our closing proverb, keep going with this, you guys. Our closing proverb is just wonderful. Um, and I only explain them if they have to do with Tai Chi. So the proverb, I believe it's unattributed. It says, the moon, keep going with my, okay. Okay, so this will be my last one. I mean, we're just gonna meditate. The proverb is, the moon waxes only to wane and a basin fills only to overflow. And this could be about moderation, but in a more interesting way, it's also about how extremes will become their opposite. So extremes don't continue to get more and more and more extreme. They eventually turn into their opposite. And I can think of a few metaphors for that, but I'll let you think of your own metaphors um, but the reason I mention that is that we see this in our Tai Chi. So you guys, please keep meditating if you're watching me. So for instance, we reviewed like our shoulder strike. If I make this more extreme, I don't get a better shoulder strike. I fall over and I lose everything. Um, and um, so that's, our Tai Chi is, is full of that. If, if I do push and I push too far, I don't get a better push. I, I get nothing, I, I, I lose everything. So the extremes turn into their opposite. That's, that's our Tai Chi interpretation of that proverb, but you can apply that to any area of your life that you wish. We'll keep meditating. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your interest. I'm so sorry that we missed a week or maybe two. <laughs> and uh, I will see you next week. We'll have more fun stuff. We'll do some more Lotus stuff, but enjoy the full moon. Hope you watch this video before the moon is totally gone. Uh, okay, great. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much.